you got my text. I haven't got much time. Johnny, the world hasn't got much time. You didn't go into that much detail. Let's just cover the angles. It, your stuff and I'll give you mine. It's a disaster. I've got that live interview with CNN in 30 minutes. Uh, Ed has given me some fairly juicy stuff. Uh, so, with a roundup of whether the major players are, it should help frame the debate for tonight. If anyone as much as breathes the world global again at me, I'll be formatted in that golf stop and ram it down their pirate little throats. So, can we do this? If you have to, there's a power on the top floor at 1900. So, how about the Chinese? What do you think? Uh, the AFI went on and on and on. Bottom line, we'll be belly green, but growth must be protected. US must clean up a very dirty act. I'm not sure I can use that. <laughs> it's a hypocrisy I can't, can't stand. I said to Ma Lee and one of her deputies, let's tease this out over a drink or something. And? So next thing, she, she's got this fixed look in her eye, gets her on her mobile and walks fast, like running to the foyer. Uh, something better had come up. No sooner had she finished the call, and Merc pulls up with the second Merc behind. Security. Or maybe the Chinese just don't want to get out much. Anyway, we drive for all of, for all of about 250 metres to that Starbucks on the intersection. Starbucks? Well, that'll stress the expenses. <laughs> Something about uh, an alcohol ban. Delegation wide. Two Mercs sitting outside Starbucks with engines running. Whilst we sip Grand Macchinos and nibble granola. Any movement on the Danish text? Can pigs fly? So, what's happening with Canada? So it's like that line about the problem with Canada. Is this relevant? Too little <laughs> history and too much geography. More like too little commitment and too much coyote. I take it the Agenda 2020 hoax went down badly. So few parts in the right places. If they were vampires, you wouldn't know where to put a stake. Jim's a big player, but just too slimy. A sort of Mandelson in a lumberjack shirt. And matching white fronts. Well, the Maple Leaf gay lobbyists love that, but let's get real up here. How's it all going to shape up? Like I said, it's going to be a disaster. And that's your final word. You're getting too cynical. On our side, Ed is pushing hard for a definitive timeline and hard end policies. Gordon isn't exactly a big fan of timelines. Or for that matter, exit strategies. <laughs> With the Chinese and Americans at each other's throats, the Indian Indians caught up in some South Asian political knockabout, and Lamaba setting up the whole thing to the G77 block as one great big conspiracy. We need to cut our losses, and I need another drink. <laughs> Morris might have got Bolivia a place at the top of their table, but another day, another delegation casting the US as great Satan. Ah, nothing new there then. I've got just about enough for CNN. I want to do a double header. Count me in. I'm just going to need to check my Blackberry and then I need... Lucy Streisberg is doing the piece and wants to kick the issues around first. Lucy Streisberg? She's good. Very good. Attached to the White House press corps for the summit. Smart cookie. Smart as in smart or smart? Don't try and distract me. Oh. <laughs> I'm beginning to get the picture. Uh, uh, well, you better turn the sound up as well. She's, she's on her way over. Johnson, great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this whole thing a shambles? Lucy, you look like you're thriving in that chaotic green jungle. Well, you know what they say, keep your butt stateside and you'll end up thinking that foreign policy starts in Miami. Oh. Hello, I'm Richie. Richie Granger. Richie, delighted to meet you. Have we met before? Uh, maybe we should get on with uh, fixing the content. Uh, foreign office. I'm, I'm with the other male band. Hillary's new squeeze. You all look so youthful. Well, now you compare to Hillary. Ouch. You don't write a column as well, do you? But time's getting on, you know. Perhaps we could meet up when the dust settles a bit. Uh, I'm at the Sheraton. Oh, so am I, and I've just got... Uh, when you two have finished your introductions, maybe we could... Uh... Johnson, darling, why don't we get down to business? What's the angle? 
The White House is so screwed up with the China thing. I want to look at where the real dynamic is coming from. My enemies are now my friends. She glides out with the wolf, big carbon, bigger ambition, uh, <laughs> that sort of thing. I think Lucy is looking for more of a new paradigm for us all to face this together. Uh, pragmatic is the new deal. By all means, use the old alliances, the old leverage, but it's, it's a big but. We have to build a new order, a new respect for sovereign nations, even the small ones. It's not about just playing to the home gallery. The, great, the gallery needs direction, leadership, great pain for the greater good and opportunities all along the way for a savvy and nimble. Oh, Richie, that is so cool. The energy, the grand plan, it's almost biblical. <laughs> Johnson. We can use this, right? Well, yeah, I suppose we could develop the entrepreneurial aspect. Great, but I need something for Mr. and Mrs. Ohio. It's a reinterpretation of the American dream. A whole new landscape of opportunity, nothing short of a revolution. Step up to the plate and take the rewards are there for a taking. But more than that, the American dream goes global. Oh, yes! We've got to get this in the can. I'll call the studio. Just a minute ago, you had a profound allergy to the G word. <laughs> Johnny boy, that's just the thing. New world order, new pragmatism, new opportunities. Mm -hmm. That's fixed then. The studio is just, just up the road in the Sheraton. I can um, give you a lift. I've turned up something interesting. New support for a Danish text. One Mercedes or two?